don't know about you, but during quarantine, I got used to wearing really comfortable clothing. And we're going back into society. I don't want to give up that comfort for looking stylish. I've been wearing this RUMI Kitta Capri Cat suit nonstop for the last couple months. I'm going to show you why this item is one of the most versatile pieces I have in my wardrobe by styling it at least 10 different ways for many different occasions. You can replicate these outfits with almost any black romper that you have. Let's go. to dress up a bodycon romper like this is throw in an oversized dress shirt. Actually, my husband's white dress shirt that I stole and repurposed for this look. And I think this would look great for a coffee date. I wanted to create a bit more shape with this outfit, so I added a Gucci belt, though you can use any belt that you have. And I wanted to make this look a bit more refined, so I added a Chanel walk purse and some pointed toe heels. If you want an even easier outfit, just throw on a long line trench like this one. This particular one is actually quite cheap. I bought it from Boohoo a long time ago, but it adds a little bit of color to the romper to brighten it up. You can also wear a trench like this closed up so it looks kind of like a trench dress or leave it open for a more flowy look. I paired it with my pointed toe heels again because this is so long that it needs a little bit of height, otherwise it'll hit the floor. And in this case, I matched the accessories to my bodysuit as I wanted the trench to stand out. You suddenly have a series of Zoom meetings and you need to dress up this look, all you need to do is pop on a blazer like this. Now this particular one is from the Zara Men's collection. Surprise, surprise, I stole this from my husband's closet once again. <laughs> With a tight romper like this, you need to wear something a little bit more baggy, provide a little bit of contrast. You can still wear this look if you're going to the office and work in a less formal field like marketing or your fashion editor. Paired it with my black Ray-Bans and Givenchy Antigona. And you can switch it up by wearing this jacket just over the shoulders and holding your bag in the crook of your arm. You find that corporate look too fashion forward for you and it doesn't necessarily fit your corporate life. For example, if you work in banking or finance, you can easily throw a work skirt on the bottom. This one is a Wilford brand midi skirt that is very comfortable and elasticated. Great part about having a tight one piece romper like this is you don't have to worry about tucking in excess fabric under your skirt to make it look lumpy. Now, what if you have a date right after work and you want to look a little bit more sexy? Well, the great part about this particular jumpsuit is that it does have a little bit of a lower back. So once you take that blazer off that you wore to work and you leave it paired with the midi skirt, it's a really classy after work date look. Now, if you think this content has been valuable so far, please click the like button down below so this video can help even more people. This catsuit can easily replace your tank top as you can slide any pants that you have over it. I love styling this bodysuit with these super sparkly Annie Bing pants. I think they give such a party vibe while still looking classy. Also, when I was younger and I went to the clubs, I never really liked wearing skirts or dresses because they're so much harder to move in. Sparkly pants like this also add a wonderful holiday vibe, so it's also a great New Year's Eve look. Love to know what your typical day is like, let me know in the comment section down below. So what if you're on vacation and going out at night and you want to look a little bit more dressed up? This is a semi-sheer dress from Rut and Boa that I use as a beach cover-up. You can put it underneath any sheer dress or top that you have so that you don't have to just use it as a swim cover-up. I paired it with some comfortable sandals and a jeweled bag to give it a bit more classy edge to it. Now, I do a lot of similar videos like this on my channel to show you multiple ways that you can use a specific item so you can get the most out of the money that you paid for it. If you're interested in more content like that, please subscribe and turn on the notification for my future videos. So now, what if it's starting to get cold and it's the fall weather? You can easily slip on a pair of leather pants and a leather jacket to complete an all-black look. I think this works especially well with the contrast of the different fabrics. It gives almost a biker-like vibe.
bodysuit is also a favorite when it comes to traveling because you can easily layer it with some comfortable sweaters. I like wearing it with a hoodie if I'm looking for a more street vibe or even this Aritzia sweater if I want it to look a little bit more classy. This works especially well if you travel a lot for work and I want to change into something a bit more comfortable before my flight. So now what about winter? My experience with Canadian winters is that they're unforgiving and layering up is key. So this is actually a very comfortable, warm layering piece that you can add when you go out on a regular cold day, just as an extra layer of warmth. Put on warm cotton sweatpants like this one from Nike. Top, I would first layer it under a thin turtleneck and then put a thick turtleneck on top of it to really keep myself warm. And finally, top it off with your winter jacket and you're all bundled up, ready to go. overall versatility of how many different ways I can wear this totally justifies the price in my eyes. Especially since on average, I keep my pieces for at least five years. I typically wait until Cyber Monday for one of the very rare sales from RUMI. For my everyday errands, I love pairing this cat suit with my Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini. Did you know that there's at least 10 different ways that you can wear this backpack? Watch this next video to find out.